All right, all right, all right. I'm in Matala and today I will be taking you for a walk in Matala and you will be impressed with the results. As you can see, uh, the season is the season has already begun in Matala and we have uh, lots of uh, tourists visiting this place. Uh, it's like if you are new to Matala and if you are learning new about the Matala, this will be like your entrance and the first thing that you will see uh, will be this uh, tree. It's like uh, nicely uh, uh, sc sculptured tree and if you would go, if you have a car, well then in the right side there you can find uh, parking, it's, it's gonna cost you like three euros it says and uh, this way you will go enter the matala it's been a while I haven't been vlogging uh, between people so yeah I feel <laughs> like I'm a bit shy other than that all is well It's a bit windy today. And uh, this street is going to the Red Beach which is in the other side if it involves a bit hiking and uh, then you can uh, go to the red beach Let me show you real quick the parking so you can see what is up in Matala. it's uh, almost impossible to find parking and i can see lots of people visiting the caves of matala as well Nice and easy, Zamir. Nice and easy. Nobody is chasing you. You don't need to walk fast. And as always, we have here these gift shops. They are completely functioning. They are open, almost all of them. And I see tourists are shopping. If you remember in the winter I was showing that this could be a good spot to uh, 
have uh, lunch or maybe drink a coffee or drink a beer. So the whole uh, caves of Matala and the beach will be your view. And now it's opening, and now it's open and functioning. And we have a canteen here where you can buy like ice cream, uh, chips, and some uh, postcards. Yeah. Also water and energy drinks. Okay, I see. And we have a little, as, uh, another one, it's a little big. It's almost like a supermarket, but not quite a supermarket. And here at the square we have more coffee shops, bars and uh, taverns open. And I really, really like to see people sitting uh, in the sun and enjoying their life, drinking their favorite drink, beverage I, I should say. Yeah. And uh, this is uh, also a beautiful shop where you can buy some real unique uh, gifts, items, where uh, you can place it in your office, in your home, if it is uh, matching your taste. Yeah, I, if you are visiting Matala, give this place a visit. Uh, it is uh, full of uh, unique artwork. And uh, this is a wider view to the square. If I would compare Matala to Shirsonisos or to uh, Agios Nikolaos or other places, uh, I can uh, uh, surely say that uh, Matala has more guests and uh, this place is uh, open and functioning compared to other places that I visit uh, lately. And if you are coming to Matala, you're definitely going to have a fantastic time. Fantasties. So uh, I took this way, I went to show you the square and now we have another way here. <laughs> Don't forget about this one. <laughs> Taverna Alexis Zurbas. This taverna also have a very beautiful view I always
where you can uh, see the view is so nice and if you feel hot they are completely covered they have really nicely covered uh, roof where you can just cool down and also this is the way to the beach So nice it smells it smell all it also smell good for Instagrammers and for photographer this is a good place you can take really nice pictures here I will go down and I will show you this place Taverna Sertakis. Okay. This is how it, it looks like. Isn't it a good spot to take some pictures? Yeah, it is. And thank you so much for being uh, agreed with me. <laughs> and uh, they have. Uh, their menu all the time here you can look at it and you can look at the prices no problem at all and we have a leather shop here they sell like sandals bags uh, and lots of other stuff and this one uh, built And here we have a jewelry shop. They have a unique style of jewelries. You will find here things that you will not find it uh, usually in the other shops. So also if you are into this kind of things, give this place a visit. Another way to the beach and to Another beautiful taverna. Small beautiful taverna with a very beautiful view toward the sea. That's also way to the beach and to another taverna, Petra Wotsalo Sea View Restaurant. Okay, so I came that way. I went around the square and I took the another uh, this like this uh, w uh, street and I came not street. I should say this way. Uh, I came here. And if you would just walk directly, which I don't recommend, you should walk around and you should uh, look at the art that people create, the things that they sell. You may be interested uh, in buying something. So yeah, you will get here. And here we have a shop where they make uh, uh, like uh, ceramic art. 
and uh, ceramics. I've been here, uh, I was here uh, last year, I think, and they are open again. Maybe I will give them uh, a visit later sometime, but now let him do his business. And we have Matala Thai Massage here. So for couple, it is uh, 60 minutes and 80 euros. Oil massage and Thai massage is for 30 minutes, 25 euros. Uh, it's a, a good uh, method to have some uh, stress relief. So if you are coming to Matala, you will also have this place if you are interested in massage. If you would go left, this path will take uh, gonna take you to the red beach and uh, if you would if you would go straight you will still have more cafes bars restaurants in this area honestly i wasn't expecting that matala will be this much uh, busy and completely functioning i'm i'm really impressed look at this view folks isn't it beautiful no worries i will take you to the beach i hear somebody is saying hey zamir i want to hear the waves and i want to go to the beach I want to tell you that uh, you have been heard. <laughs> Uh, I have uh, I have eaten in this place. I can uh, recommend this place. Uh, the prices are good, and they have uh, also good quality food. So, but your view from here will be this. You are going to have like the view to other uh, taverns and restaurants, and also you will get to see like a, uh, a much wider angle toward the caves of Matala, and uh, also the whole beach as well and you will also get to see the uh, the rest of the uh, civilization like you can see from here Agia Galini very well and this is the Akuna Matata cafe bar they have been working they are fixing hopefully soon they will be open And here we have a seat. I haven't sat here before. Let me sit and see how it feels. I'm sitting now in the half of half of a boat. Wow, this is luxury. Uh, it is uh, really cool. Uh, I enjoy the sun. It feels so great and uh, the whole thing makes so much sense and life is uh, wonderful yeah okay enough sitting let's go and explore a little bit further
that also is a good spot to sit and take a picture nice Okay, we have here a very beautiful restaurant. It's a, called Scala since 1986. Premium seafood bar. And we have another one here, Sunset Family Taverna. Okay, so this taverna is part of the Sunset Taverna. So if they have table for you in this area or, or in this area, that would be nice. And the may also you can reserve here a table to eat and enjoy the whole view. I mean, it is really gorgeous. And in this area we have another place I don't know if it's functioning or not I don't think so but this has its really like hippie-ish style to it and uh, it is kind of built like it's the front side of a boat yeah so if you were eating here it means like you are in a boat with some pirates and trying to <laughs> go somewhere And these are the very end caves of uh, Matala but uh, I think there is a possibility that you still can uh, go up and in the other side like I mean behind this you can find uh, like a small little beach kind of area where you can uh, swim as well I don't recommend doing that yet because I haven't tried it myself I don't know what's in the other side but I will make a video about that as well I think my lens has a little bit of fog I need to clean that and then we will go to the beach okay now as you can see we are at the very beginning of the beach and uh, we have stairs here and uh, in this area some people also take pictures uh, the fonts the text and the painting is uh, not renewed but this is also like a beautiful place to, uh, to take pictures and also this is a nice spot to take pictures because you will have the whole uh, uh, Matala caves like the symbolic uh, picture of Matala in your background And one thing, yeah, about the wind, I wanted to tell you. Remember uh, about the Matala, one thing, that uh, it will be like most of the time, it will be a little bit windy uh, here. I don't know why, but you will find days that it is not windy. But if you are coming like with uh, high expectations, uh, then you will be disappointed. 
I'm not saying like, look, look at this right now. It is not windy at all, but uh, it is uh, like this place has a uh, regular uh, wind uh, time to time. So yeah, oh, you are already reminded to be prepared for it. The way like you are like, uh, like I should say getting prepared or the way you are planning on staying uh, at the beach. So you already now know that it can get windy. So what sort of things I need to bring or what type of bag that I need to bring so my stuff, my camera or my other luggage is safe from the sand uh, and not flying <laughs> like a kite uh, in the sky. And uh, look at here, it's, it's, now you can see from here that what a beautiful view they have. Drinking their beer, I can see there is already a Mitos beer on the table. Uh, A beer in Matala in the warm weather is inevitable. <laughs> you cannot resist it. <laughs> you should definitely go for it. And I can see other people are sitting there, not in the taverna, outside of the taverna. They have placed tables, chairs, and uh, they are enjoying their day while eating their food. Looking at this view and this view. Wow, it is gorgeous. Okay, so now I'm, I'm going to be showing you a little bit of the, uh, the place where they play music and they dance and they do this DJ stuff. If uh, you are somebody watching this video and you are into like uh, weekend nights and uh, things like that, so it's here. And then we will go back to the beach. And if you like this video, hit the like button. And if you have any thoughts so far, please uh, share it in the comment section, not just with me, with the whole community. And uh, if you are having already a good time, then consider subscribing. And if you want to support me, and if you want to tip me so I can have a beer here, and then go ahead, do that, I will leave the uh, Patreon account link and uh, also the PayPal account link in the description. Uh, that would be really nice of you. Other than that, let me tell you about this place. So, in this corner, in this area, I have noticed that uh, in the past they were play playing really loud music, especially here, and uh, lots of uh, young people who are having a good time dancing. And I think they are also functioning nighttime. It's like beach boho bar. Yeah. So they have really good quality music when they are open. And believe me, if you were even in the other side of Matala, if they would play music, you can hear it. So this is also like a nice place. But yeah, of course, at nighttime, the rest of the Matala is also like uh, active and, and, and drinking and, 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 and listening to music, talking, 
uh, socializing, all that stuff is uh, going on. But especially this corner is more musical and uh, more gravitated toward dancing. Okay. Do we have toilets? Of course, we have very nice and clean toilets. They are very newly built in that area. Yes, it's public toilet. And here we have the showers. After being at the beach, uh, you will come here, take a shower. They haven't put the, the wood thing yet, but uh, there will be like a path where you can walk on it because uh, as I have as I read in the comment section mostly people are uh, um, mentioning that this sand can get really hot so for that reason uh, I'm uh, sure that they will put that thing here to make it comfortable for you and take a look we have also like Zafira restaurant in that area, Giro, Pizza, Salads next to it. And there we have like a uh, supermarket. Uh, the, they have really good prices. Nothing is like two times, three times expensive uh, than uh, a typical supermarket. Well, that's what I saw, but I'm not sure if they still have those prices. Okay, good. Okay, so they also have here their menu Zafira. Right at the parking, you have this uh, supermarket here. I came here in the winter, they were still open and they were functioning and I bought some stuff and the prices were same as if you would buy it in a major supermarket in the center of like Heraklion or Hanya. So that's a good thing. We have a supermarket here. And that's the Matala camping over there. Look, it's, it's not just here how many cars are parked. If you would go that in that street where you are entering Matala, the whole street is full of people. And yet people are coming. Very iconic painting. You may have already know, seen this in Instagram pictures of Matala. Okay, there you go. That's, those are the toilets. And we have another cafe restaurant in this area. They have really like typical easy peasy tables and seats, chairs where you can sit and you can enjoy the view. And if you are just right at the beach and you want to drink and eat here and you just uh, want to be at the beach, that's also an option if you are here. So I know that you like this part. You want me to walk on the beach and show you people, huh? Don't you? <laughs> yeah, if you do, please let me know in the comment section. <laughs> I guess you will. And of course we have these uh, uh, trash beans. that's good they have already brought like a, a boat a safety boat in case if somebody is in danger uh, to be saved i hope nobody gets in danger that's the first thing i would ever wish if i would have only one wish i would i would wish like safety for whole 
world, not just humanity, for other creatures as well. Here we are again at the beach. And I think this time of the year is actually not a bad time to visit uh, Crete and especially Matala because you don't have those sun beds and you don't you don't have umbrellas. You can see you can have like in the entire beach for yourself and and that is uh, something that you will not have if it is getting pro progressively busier every day a little bit although it is a little bit cold the water is cold if you don't like cold water uh, then it can be a problem other than that it's a good time i'm i'm feeling the wind it's it's not like that pleasant warm wind that uh, you will be seeking in Crete. It's still there is like a like a chilly touch to it. So I'm walking. I'm wearing my t-shirt and it is like sunny up there. Uh, and the wind is blowing from my left side and it's like a little bit cold. It's not that comfortable. And if you are getting into the water and coming out, uh, then <laughs> possibly you, you may need to just jump on the sand to get warm. <laughs> That's a solution. <laughs> there you go, you have it. It's really nice. It seems like it's family friendly. Kids are playing where they are family and uh, other people those who are into adventure they are climbing the caves and they are taking pictures and uh, posting it into instagram to let their <laughs> friends family members know uh, they, that they are having a good time Let's get a little bit adventurous. I don't know if I can do it. With one hand it is a little bit difficult, but with two hands it is possible. Yeah, we did it. And now we have another place here to pass. But look the view from here. Now you, you have a, like a closer look to the caves of Matala and you can see what people are doing here. People are hiking, taking pictures and exploring uh, these places. And somebody is going live over there. <laughs> okay, so I still could go and hike this area but not today <laughs> i think i guess because i am not in the uh, in the mood <laughs> to swim if i fall down i will hit that rock 
I'm gonna hit that rock and then I will fall into the water <laughs> with broken with broken ribs <laughs> yeah but if you are somebody who is into adventure then uh, yeah go ahead <laughs> and do it <laughs> Okay, so this was it for Matala. It is uh, today, let me tell you the date. Uh, today it is the 13th of April and uh, yeah, it seems pretty functioning. It's open and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to like, to hit the like button and also please share your thoughts in the comment section so I can understand and also remember about the beer <laughs> and if you are having a good time consider subscribing other than that until the next time peace